If you watch her ski, it doesn't take long to realize Loren Ross has Oregon roots. You can see it right on the front of her helmet. She moved to Oregon when she was seven and lived in Klamath Falls until she graduated high school. Then she went to Bend to ski. Living in Bend is obviously amazing for anybody who's interested in outdoor sports. I get to go mountain biking for cross training and hiking and uh, rock climbing and snow rock and a boat is three and a half hours away. But it's Mount Bachelor she grew up racing on with the Mount Bachelor Sports Education Foundation. Mount Bachelor is such a wonderful mountain to have grown up skiing and racing on and MBSF is such a great club and I'm so proud to be a part of that community. But that's not the only big community in Oregon she's a part of. She's also a student at the University of Oregon. Yes, while being a professional ski racer. I have been taking classes every spring. Uh, just go for one term a year, which makes it a very slow process. I'm 29 and I'm somewhere in my junior year. <laughs> I'm continuing to pursue my education, even though it's slow and it's difficult with the career that I'm in, but I actually love going to school. It's such a nice break from, you know, the high intensity life that I live in this new racing world. She's an art major doing multiple mediums like ceramics, printmaking, and photography, which you may have already sensed if you follow her blog or her Instagram. It's nice to have a little bit of balance. Um, it's very so being able to take my camera on the road, it's really nice to get some balance and perspective. And she does bring her camera on the road all around the world, racing down mountains, exploring cities and oceans. I really just want to connect to people and I want them to, to see the real me and you know see what I'm actually going through. And I always thought when I was little that that people like you know, World Cup athletes were kind of like this crazy higher being and untouchable. And it's nice to be able to show them that that's not true and that, you know, they can reach their goals and that I'm just a normal person too. We're real human beings with real feelings and I want to share those struggles and I want to share the joys and I want to share the beauty that I see through photos and through words. And that means sharing a lot more of Oregon. I've always really connected to all of the places that I've lived in Oregon and it's kind of a crazy state. I haven't explored it all yet, but I like that. I have more to look forward to. Well, Loren will find out on Monday whether or not she makes it to her second Olympics. Of course, I am very much rooting to see her in South Korea. And of course, guys, it all starts February 8th right here on KGW. I will see you there. Back to you. Sounds great, Cassidy. Thanks very much.